and bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth give to you his blessing out of Zion. Thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness. And so together we say, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, before the ending of this day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. But before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word. Tonight we listen to Psalm 119, verses 124 and 125. They read, Show to me your servant, your steadfast love, Teach me how to submit to your will. I am your servant. Give me spiritual discernment so that I may experience your guidance. The psalmist longs to be free to serve his Lord and God and to experience from the depths of his being the knowledge of God's faithfulness and devotion to him. To that end, he longs to have that spiritual insight that will recognize God's word and his will, so as to delightedly walk in it. Lord God, draw near to us, reveal your will, make known yourself, and guide us to that place of happy fellowship with yourself. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So may the Lord our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give to us his peace.